Welcome to Nate's Garage and Bakery. I'm back, baby. Sorry about the big delay between the last video and now. Well, that's just how life goes, and so be it. We are having a very long video today on doing one step, which is to install the belt on this Y-axis bed. Yeah, it takes a while, so you're getting a long video just on that. Uh, skip through it all you want, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're starting with a sliding Y-axis, and we're going to end it up with a belted sliding Y-axis. Enjoy! We are starting here with step 17 in the instruction manual. The next thing we need to do is put this here belt on the bottom here. Now, in the instructions, it basically says a lot of stuff that didn't translate over very well, and it's not very complete. So what I did was I went through and did some research on the YouTube link that they have in the manual, which directs you to the HIC Technology YouTube page, which then you have to go through and weed through which video it is that you're trying to actually figure out. Uh, in this case, the X and Y axis belt installation. So this being, well, one of those two, the other one's going to go across this way up here on the z-axis that goes up and down you'll have the I don't know is it the y-axis or x-axis anyway they give you this whole big length two meters of the belt one piece you need two pieces so you're gonna have to cut this when you figure out how long you need it which means don't cut it until you know you can use that little nice paradise layer to cut that so what you do is you turn it over. Let's go ahead and turn it this way so you can see the little piece that got connected to. Now, uh, <clears throat> that piece actually has some, let's see here, that piece actually has some uh, teeth built into it right there that will grab onto the belt. So the belt's going to come across this pulley and go all the way across here to the motor around the side and come back here and attach here and come around the bottom side of here and attach here and I'll show you how to do that I seem to have a an errant nut <laughs> anyway now this all needs to be ouch aligned properly along here so that's in a straight line so that's where we're gonna have to move this or this or both because you can't really move this back and forth this way so we're gonna have to align these two to that I'm gonna have to um, move this motor over a little bit because it looks to me like we're gonna kinda almost miss that piece so this is where it gets tricky because I've already put that pulley on and I have actually loctited that mug in there. I am going to use my Allen wrench because I know it fits better. And I'm going to take this pulley off. You see how it cracked right out of there? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Now, since that Loctite got down in there, it also kind of locked itself to the shaft there. So, again, it's probably not all the way dry yet. Who knows? Anyway, so we'll set that aside for now. We will also get my ball end wrench back out so that I don't have to undo this whole stupid motor. I guess it would have been nice, and, well, this is where it's nice. If you're following along with me step by step, you're screwed, just like I am. If you're watching this first and doing your research, then pay attention, young one. We're going to have to loosen that just a smidge, just enough to where we can slide this back and forth again. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is temporarily put this back on to where it's supposed to be, which is 
you know, honestly, it doesn't matter if there's three millimeters in there, you know, whatever. So, okay, let's nudge it right up to this table here. And we're going to put it right about there. Oh, man, that lines up nice now. Yeah, buddy. And uh, we'll go ahead and tighten that down after we take this back off for the moment. And I'm going to set this up on end maybe again. Try and hold that table up out of the way so it doesn't slam down on my face. Go ahead and tighten. Ah, you son of a bitch moving on me like that. I ought to kick your ass. Get tricky with a wrist hold here. Yeah, right. Okay, I think that one being tightened down, I can pivot it into place to be straight with the other one. I must get my technical voice out. It's an American Sean Connery, apparently. I don't know. Alright, so that's back to tight again. I get my pulley up out of it. Yeah, anyway, I went through that one already too, didn't I? Okay, so now I am nice and lined up with the uh, slots on here that the belt's going to go through. The belt's going to go through here and lock into place. So, go ahead and tighten that. You know, I need to find the flat spot again. Tighten that right back down again. Okay, so now we're back in business with that dude being all tightened up. And yeah, when it's lined up properly, that uh, limit switch actually doesn't bump up against the motor so much as it does this bracket. So I guess that's one way you could align this motor is align that switch, assuming you have the same kit and all that crap. Align that switch with the bracket, like so. The other part of this is going to be aligning, well, Yes, I'm wanting that part. So, we don't need all the fancy ball joint whatever. So, we'll just use the one that came with it. Oh, I wasn't even tight. Remember, I didn't tighten it down? Oh, yeah. That's because I might have to align it later. Well, guess what? It's later. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave that uh, loose for now until I get the belt actually on there. How do you put the belt on? I'm here to help you out, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to need a couple of these zip ties that they sent you. One, two, three, four of them to be exact. Actually, sorry. You need two of them. The other two will be later on the other part of the belt that you need to put on. What you're not doing yet? Get your belt out. Now, what we're going to do happens here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around again. That belt is just annoyingly Alright, so how I'm going to do this, because I'm special. This has to basically come around, come around the mountain when she comes, like so. And around here, through the old hooser over here. So what I'm getting at is that the teeth have to be down on the bearing. And this can come up here and attach this block. So what I'm going to do is, well, I just <laughs> ripped it out of there. Take this through here. Now, the way they want you to do this is to basically make sure there's enough room to fold this back on itself after it loops through this little block. Now, like I said, this block has little teeth in it so that the belt doesn't slip. So we'll kind of slip it in there, like so. It's nice and tight. It's not going nowhere. And then we'll come back around like so. And in a second here, we'll zip tie that little piece, that little tail, to the incoming belt. 
foist. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Sort of. I'm not going to tighten the zip tie all the way yet. So, you can go ahead and stick the tail through the zip tie. Get it started at least. And then stick that through there. And that's all the further I'm going to go with that for right now. What I will also do is bring this all the way around. Make sure you don't have any kinks. Make sure it's all straight, obviously. Like so. And then this is going to have to loop back around too. So here's where you figure out how long you're going to make this. Don't make it too short or you're screwed. So I'm going to say right about there. Uh, clip. Dikes. Maybe. The other white meat. There is the other piece that hopefully is equally as long, basically. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh yeah! That's gonna do it. We'll pull this tight-ish. And we will... put this all up in here, like so. Now what, uh, let's see here, I don't want to do this. There's barely enough room in there to get two slots, two pieces. So let me go ahead and, how do I want to do this? Um, I'm going to tighten that down a little further over here, just so it's, out of the way as much as possible. Like so. And then loop it around the motor and make sure it's tight. It does need to be tight. Tweet. And then slide it on into these teeth in here. Uh, make sure it's tight. And then try to make these two things live together in harmony in the middle section channel here. I have to pull it pretty. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. It's, uh, it seems a little loose, to be honest with you. A little loose. Well, what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and tighten this one. So. go it's nice and bit in there Just slide this one back out again I guess it's not too easy to stretch this belt per se it does need to be tight it does need to be very tight so that it doesn't skip any teeth it depends very heavily on these teeth to position itself correctly. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and make it pretty damn tight. Stretch, and one, and two, and stretch, and pull, and I don't know what I'm saying. Here. Probably use your smallest. Allen wrench here, which is kind of worthless otherwise, to uh, ooh, shove that in the crack. <laughs> shove that in the crack. And then uh, we'll use another zip tie over here. Uh, go ahead and start it. Make sure you don't <laughs> zip it around that outer loop also. And I suppose if you really wanted to, you could trim off the excess over here once you get it tightened down. I'm going to keep these uh, zip ties pretty close to this block here just because I want to. And tight. Oh, that's not very tight at all, is it? Son of a bitch. 
I mean, it runs nice and smooth. It's not really loose, per se, but, well, that's a long stretch. It's a long stretch of belt to try and keep tight, so is it tight enough? Boy, I don't know if I like the non-tightness of that son of a bitch right there. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to line this up. It's already lined up pretty much. Oh yeah. <laughs> you definitely want to get rid of your tails here because otherwise you're going to run into interference. It's going to want to try and suck that up into the motor if you don't if you have that too long. So it needs to at least come that far, so you're going to have to have a pretty short tail on that belt right there. Otherwise, you're going to suck it. I really don't like how loose that is. I'm not happy with it. So I'm going to clip that zip. Damn it. This is becoming a bit of a challenge. But I will prevail. Okay. What you got for me? What you got for me, baby? I like that better. So, I think I prevailed on that one. Another zip tie. Oh, yeah, baby. So, yeah, make sure you get that nice and tight. Let's go ahead and... It's moving nice and smoothly. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Yes, whoever. We're going to put a zip tie around the bottom. My goodness. Around the bottom. Like so. And I am going to bump that right up next. I think I will tighten up these... These, uh, watch my hoosers over here. Now, we have a nice, tight bed. This side, like I said, I'm going to trim it right up on that zip tie. Patow! That way, it won't get sucked up into the motor when it gets all the way over here to its limit. I didn't have to trim up that much of it. Leave a little bit of a tail in there. You see, you've got about that much space between here and here. That's where it stops. On this side, there is no stop apparently. I'm guessing the software doesn't allow it to travel that far. Otherwise, it will try to eat itself. So, there you go. Once you got these tightened down, try and trim those as flush as possible so there's not just something there to catch your finger and scratch the crap out of them. I hate that. There we have our belt. Now, obviously, this wire is right in the damn way. Anyway, yeah, the wire. So, this should at this point move smoothly. As you see here, mine. Apparently does. It's nice and smooth. Aww. You'll obviously have a little bit of uh, resistance. Uh, this has some resistance built into it, so it's not going to be smooth as, you know, before you put this part on, but whatever. And uh, on the, on the uh, side over here, now if you tighten that down too far, you will have the issues. It's turning just fine right now, but uh, like I said, if I tighten that down any further, oh, there's not even a, they don't give you a wrench big enough for that son of a bitch, because they don't want you to crank on it. <laughs> so, yeah, that bearing has no trouble turning. That's as tight as I can get it finger tight. <clears throat> and it's still turning. 
Well, that's it for this episode on Nate's Garage and Bakery. Did you get this far? Did you like what you saw? Go ahead on and click that subscribe button for future videos. Hell, click the like button while you're at it. Leave a comment if you got questions. I'll try to answer them. Later. <laughs>